This week, we're leaving Mount Desert Island headed to Matinicus, the outermost main island inhabited year-round, 22 miles from Rockland in the outer reaches of Penobscot Bay, a remote place steeped in tradition with many of the same families living there for generations, a sort of chosen isolation. There are no restaurants, no grocery stores. People place orders at a supermarket in Rockland and the groceries are flown in. Tales of lobster wars and residents that now tolerate visitors, it piqued our curiosity. The best part of travel is meeting people with a completely different way of life and experiencing places without the standard strip malls of Target, Starbucks, etc. Places that have a unique character. That is what we hope to find. I'm Kristen, this is Fabio, and this is our dog Yoda. We sold our home last year and moved aboard our Sea Wind 1600 Catamaran Wanderlust. Over the past year, we've sailed the waters of South Florida, the Keys, and the Bahamas, shaking down our new boat. We're now setting off on our journey to harbors unknown exploring the world and connecting with people and places through the local cuisine. Subscribe now to join our voyage. It's a brisk, sunny morning here in Northeast Harbor on Mount Desert, and we are prepping to leave. We're heading south today. We're starting back towards Annapolis area eventually. And today we're heading to Matinicus Island. It's the second most eastern point in Maine, and it's supposed to be a really interesting place. We're going to check out this place to experience the real Maine. <laughs> so we're looking forward to a short, about 30 nautical mile trip. Winds are super light today, so we will most likely have on the engines, but that's okay. <laughs> Let's get going.
I wish you had smell a vision here. If you're enjoying this video, give it a thumbs up, leave us a comment down below, and be sure to subscribe. It really helps the channel out. We're now tied up to the mooring in Matinicus. It was an eventful <laughs> uh, tying up because we came into the harbor, which is pretty small, and we didn't see any mooring balls, so we thought that we had to anchor. So we started dropping anchor, and people around us said, you can't anchor here, it's rock bottom. And a guy came by and said, you pick up these little boys, and those are the moorings. So while this was going on, all of a sudden, the motor the engine the port engine was seizing and i knew we had gotten a lobster pot probably and so this super sweet guy came over in his boat he towed us back so we were able to hook up to the mooring fabio had to dive in the water and we actually pulled up the lobster trap and it had lobsters in it but he was able to get the line out of the prop and so we just tied the float back to the end of the lobster pot line and finished tying up the boat and now we are good to go when we were, said we were coming to maine people said it's not if you catch a lobster buoy it's when so you better be prepared <laughs> and it finally happened to us so thankfully though i think everything is okay this right here is the flag that you pick up for the mooring and there's a little bottle there, a plastic bottle, and inside is a paper with information and I think you're supposed to leave the money for the mooring in there as well. All right, I feel like I'm getting like a secret message, you know, message in a bottle, literally. <laughs> Wow, this is cute. So it's a little map of the area. And it's okay. <laughs> Mooring rentals are $30 per night. We operate on the honor system. Please leave cash or check made out to Josh Ames in the bottom in the bottle at the end of your stay. You can reach Josh on VHF channel 19 at Independence or by phone. 
along with some other information for 2021 and Matanicus Island. Super cute. <laughs> So look at those other boats. They have a line that goes to the top. You didn't know that you're on an island. It looks like you're on top of a mountain. You know, the pine trees. <laughs> it smells like mountain. It right? does, yeah. You can smell the pine trees. It's just incredible. Seaweed, but is there something in there? Oh, look no, her, no. get it! I think it's wobbly, so you can see it. You're all wet! Oh my gosh!
I'm getting killed by mosquitoes. No, me. Oh. Let's go then. Look, it's so beautiful. <laughs> That's so cute. So they can come and play on the beach. They don't have to bring their own toys. Oh my goodness. This is spectacular. That's great. Wow. The community, huh? I know. The people have been so nice. Yeah. Simplicity. That is my takeaway from Matinicus, a place where life is boiled down to enjoying simple things. The smell of ocean air mixed with pine, the sound of gurgling waves meeting the shore, and the cacophony of bugs, sand sparkling like diamonds and the glistening sunlight. A sense of community where as soon as you find yourself needing help, someone is there to lend a hand. I'll take that any day. Looks like these are all docks where they unload. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.